Here's Heather O'Reilly getting her first judge. Skipping to the bide line in trademark fashion, delivering the cross and has an assist straight away. Off the head of Carly Lloyd, but it's Heather O'Reilly. And this is what we have loved watching about Heather O'Reilly for so many years. The ability to face up, get in line, find that cross, pick out a player, and Carly Lloyd with the finish. But isn't that just vintage Hayo on her final game? How many times have we seen her do this over the years? Skipping past the defender. Alyssa Nair, who's the uh, other goalkeeper here. No, Hope Solo, of course, remember this is the first game of her sixth month suspension as the cross comes in this time. Oh, it's still up for grabs and it's 2 0. Already mighty, mighty easy for the US. It's Christian Press. And Toby Heath picks up where she left off at the Olympics, shaking defenders, finding a little window. And Carlyle Lloyd, whether that was intentional or not, maybe it was. With the way they went out of that Olympics, that first game back, whoever it was, beware. And now Carly Lloyd is uh, rampaging through Heather O'Reilly! Well, it's what they came to see. A misplaced ball that Lloyd runs on to, gets her head up and just puts it on a platter as they are hoping to do for Carly Lloyd running, sorry, for Heather O'Reilly running through. Lloyd's back here, loved by the crowd, so too Heath's cut back, surely here for the U.S. I think that'll be Tobin Heath's goal. Heather O'Reilly was following up just to make sure. Reason number 741, I am sad the U.S. team didn't get past the quarterfinals to watch more of this player. Tobin Heath had such a good tournament. And there you see what she brings to the field. Having the presence of mind just to put a little chip in that. I think it's over the line like you said, Adrian, but Heather there just in case. Taking a look. A little shimmy, and Heather O'Reilly, even though it was 3-0, she's diving in to get that ball. And Thailand is not one of them. Heather O'Reilly, they all want the cross sent in. Lots of arms up, Heather O'Reilly. And it falls for Lloyd, and she won't be stopped this time. Well, twice denied by Seng Yong, trying to add to her goal tally. And there it is, Heather O'Reilly again. On the wing, takes that touch. Bad clearance that Carly Lloyd. Heyo again. That touch we've known and seen for so long. With that speed, a little burst, a little jig. And Carly Lloyd you cleaning it up. Of course, Sydney Rue just recently uh, had her baby as well. Had a baby. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a great question. I think. Oh, that's one of the answers. Crystal there you Dunn. Go. There it is. <laughs> Right on cue, talking about goal score. <laughs> lovely, lovely strike, wasn't and, it? And, and Crystal Dunn, who was the last person cut, as people know, from the World Cup team, the World Cup winning team, and she goes through that heartache and then comes back and has just been phenomenal. Now, yeah, Alex Morgan. Uh, Teasing it up for Megan Rapino, the diving header for Moran, and Lloyd is there to force it home. She has her hat trick. The United States have seven. Megan Rapino just getting on the end of that one. And Lloyd again <laughs> there to clean it up. Haran present as always when she's in the box and just too much for Thailand. Sen Young trying to get a hand on it. It's gonna be fascinating to see how she continues to construct her vision for the future of this team as Lloyd releases Alex Morgan! Well, it's not very often 
She doesn't join the scoring party. Alex Morgan leaving it late, getting number eight. Here, perhaps, a glimpse of that pair in that tandem. So much of this coming from Roy. The perfectly paced ball, running at that back line, winning balls, fighting on both sides of the ball. That's what we've seen out of Carly Lloyd today. And then Alex Morgan, you know she's not going to miss this. But boy, has Carly been on the ball on both sides all over the field tonight. Three goals and four assists. That's when things start to get interesting, because she said, these two games are for the, uh, the players from Brazil, and then it's time to start thinking about what happens next. And that game's in October. Here's uh, Alex Morgan! Now, she is clearly a major, major part just to put an emphatic bow on it. Alex Morgan wanting to say, okay, yes, it's 8-0, but we're not done. And again, this is their first game post quarterfinal loss at Sweden. And you knew they were going to come out. Throwing some heat. Now it puts a new focus on women's soccer. Off Janssen, Tobin Heath. Heath coming in for the right-hand side, headed towards the byline, drags it back, and a shot and a goal for the United States for Carly Lloyd. Coach Vandalon said, any mistakes, and we will pay. And there's a mistake by Janssen. Tobin Heath gets in. She delays her pass, and what was best of all is Lloyd delayed her run. So she's wide open. She's able to hammer it. She finds the upper corner. Good goal for the USA. The first half, they're high pressing, they're interchanging really well, they're dynamic in their movements, and there's so many players for the Netherlands defense to deal with. Press taking on a defender, Vandergrot across the face, a goal, it's an own goal! Yeah, she, as soon as she made the own goal, she's on the ground, but she puts up her hands, and you can see there was a little bit of push there from Tobin Heath. I don't think a, a foul would have been out of the question here. Heath comes in a little bit late, pushes her over, she ends up heading it in or playing it off her body into the goal. These can act like sort of set pieces. This is short to Rapino. Rapino clips it right in front. A chance here for the United States that went in. It just went over the line. Goal, United States. When you're right, it is like a set piece, especially when you play a ball into Megan Rapino. And it was Carly Lloyd that actually found Allie Long, and Allie Long does such an excellent job of getting her body in front of the defender, especially in the goal area on set pieces. Referee is Melissa Pastrani from Honduras. How about this? A big opportunity here. It's Lynn Williams scores! Lynn Williams with her first ever international goal it comes less than a minute into the second half on her debut. Well, how about that for a start to your national team career? Literally, her first touch on the field is a breakaway that she finishes beautifully, as we have seen her do so many times this season with the Western New York Flash, and just slots that home. How about that for your start, Glenn? I might just walk off the field after that and be like, thanks very much. <laughs> That's my 51 seconds I just contributed. Sauer run off the throw. Lloyd almost spun out of there. Beautiful. Crystal Dunn. Dunn shot is blocked by Abby. Tobin Heath to bend it in. It's 2-0 US. Sandy, Utah erupts. And here it is all the way from the throw-in. And watch Crystal Dunn on this. She misses the shot, but watch her reaction. She immediately fights to pick up that ball again. And that is what creates this goal. It's that mentality by Dunn to not give up that gives the ball to Heath. And that is exactly the mentality this U.S. team is looking for. Picking up, scrapping it, and then finishing with such technical ability. Lynn Williams. Oh, that's a great ball. It's slotted in. It's 3-0 U.S. Kristen Press provides the final touch. 
Kelly O'Hara making a good run. What a nice ball that is. And then O'Hara deciding rather than to pull it to Dunn, you can see her take a peek. She plays a beautiful ball across. Mind you, Glenn, Stanford to Stanford on that one. Yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> it was an all-cardinal goal. But you saw her. She looked. She sees Dunn making that seam, and that was a good run as well. And how good has she been with them? My goodness. Taking over games. You love to see it. Press. Got one already. Cuts it back on a dime. Squares it to the penalty spot. Mewis! Hunts it in. It's 4-0. With her first touch. Press getting in line, looking up, having the composure to cut the ball, and then Mewis with a beautifully timed run and just heads it into the corner. How good is that? No one picks her up. Those deep lying runs into the box are so hard to mark. And that's given because Press pulls it and gives her a little bit more time to get in there. It just needs to be a bit quicker in the transition game offensively. They're so good at defensively and pressing for those regains. Now they need to implement that same quickness on the attack. Lloyd will try a long hit. What a goal from Lloyd. This is spectacular. It's hit with no regard for humanity. What is this, 40 yards out? And that's Sullivan. Just a nice one, two. I mean... Look at this movement off the ball, a little triangle play there, and Carly Lloyd, I mean, she's a good 10 yards, 7 yards off that top of the circle of the 18. Brilliant strike, and look at this triangle, I love this view of it, this layoff, that first time layoff, and I believe that's Kelly O'Hara, who then reestablishes with, like, she can't get the ball back, but Carly Lloyd says, no, this is mine, and then laces that upper V. Absolutely searing, smashed in ball. Lost it to Lloyd, who just manhandled her. Carly Lloyd. She's got runners to her left is Williams, to her right is Press. She has picked out Press, shot is blocked. Lloyd shot, two to one. They have taken the lead. Carly Lloyd started it, Carly Lloyd finishes it. Here she is in space. Just the clip in with the right outside of her foot, the perfect bend on it, perfect pace on it. Press cuts across, takes her shot, but this deflection to hit it one time, get that on frame. Big time by the reigning world player of the year. And that is someone who seems to be invigorated by this injection of youth. Dominating performance today. We've seen some visionary passes. We've seen the sheer power off her first goal. And she says she's not done yet. Her ultimate goal is, is to get to the 2020 Olympics. Two goals today for Lloyd, and it's another for the U.S. Flipped in over the top, Kristen Press will get her second in five days. This ball is just laid in over the top. That's a shoddy back line that's staggered, allowing Press to get in behind. And that's a clinical, beautiful finish. It hangs up nicely for her. And that's Andy Sullivan with the vision, with the technique, able to drop that in. And I love that finish. Catching Mikel off her line, taking advantage of it, that is easy. What a wonderful lob with the inside of her foot. And then back to Andy will you, uh, Andy Sullivan, who you've talked so much about here today. Short U.S. just uh, athletically on a different level here. Williams, speaking of athleticism, she'll square it back to the far post. It's Crystal Dunn. Just like that, bang, bang, it's 4-1 in the 63rd minute. She dribbles out of pressure, beats three players, one, two, and then right there, three, finds Carly Lloyd. Carly senses no pressure, faces up. Williams pulls away from a defender, giving her that nice passing lane, and then takes that touch, senses press and Dunner in behind that back line, bends it behind. Perfect, for, perfect final ball. Great runs in the box, someone coming near, someone sitting far. Very well done by the U.S. Joe was very clear about the fact that she's not handing out caps. So for the insertion of Kalia Ohio, it means that she earned it through the week of training, and, and it's good to see someone else get in the mix. Press. Oh, hi. Can she get a shot up? She does. She scores on her debut. Kalia Ohio. A magical moment. 
This is her just, or her ran, excuse me, picking her out. Press out, press finding a high, but there is work to be done. She has to hold that player off, set up her right foot, and then strike that bottom corner. Finding its way into the back of the net. That is a thing of beauty. One cap, and just like this, one goal. Maybe about four touches. Absolute spectacular moment. You can see it written all over her face. What it means. Well, it's also, too, a part of it is that she wants a creative group in here. Ball comes into the box. Shooting opportunity for Press. Blasts it in. What a hit from Kristen Press. It fell gratuitously to her. She delivers it in the back of the net. It's 1-0 in San Jose. And this is where Kristen Press is just so dangerous because here is she's just cleaning something up. A gift falls to her, and she's able to adjust her body, put it on frame, and she's so good in front of goal with both feet. And that's a gift coming back to her, but she's ready. You see a lot of players who aren't expecting it. They're reshuffling their feet. She puts enough on it, even though it's at the goalkeeper that's in the back of the net. Great passer of the ball. She found Press. Press has got a run here. Ryan, it's bent in, and what a goal it is. It's Tobin Heath. Wrapped her right foot around it, bends it in, hits the side netting. The U.S. are off and flying here at Avaya Stadium. And Tobin Heath has had a world of time on that outside. She sees she's got a little bit of an angle, and she looks up, sees it, has the vision and presence to say, I'm not going to hit this with power. I'm just going to bend this into the upper corner. What a nice finish. Done now. Isolated. Look at that pace. She's dragged down. Free kick time. And we'll get a first yellow card here tonight. A lot of space in and around the six. That's where it goes, and that's it. In it goes. The United States have scored. You're going to see Morgan Bryan coming in. Upper left. She's just going to find that seam in there. Pulls her back. Pulls her away, just creates a little bit of a gap. Just that little stutter stuff. Creates a window, and she is not going to miss that one. Fifth. Oof, cannot give that much time and space right in the middle of your box. Well delivered ball, too. Here's uh, Tobin Heath now. Hurdles one defender. Still Heath. She's got Crystal Dunn to her right. Brings her in. Here's Dunn now. Dunn to the end line. She's left the defender. She squares it back. Shot is blocked. In it goes, Kristen Press. Nice bit of soccer right there to pull defenders, get around them, and done getting in line. And here's the thing with that three front, and you're seeing so many numbers in the box for the United States. I mean, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six players right there. So the rebound falling to a U.S. player. And again, Press just so sharp in front of goal. 35th minute for Press, her second of the night. As well, they seem to be losing a bit of those legs. Short now. Ball oh, lays on a perfectly weighted pass here. Brian lays it back. Hat trick time. Three on the trot here in San Jose. Kristen Press, who played her college soccer very close to here at Stanford, has hit for a hat trick, and it is now 5-1. What's been so difficult for Romania to deal with is those midfielders that are coming in. They're getting the ball again. Morgan Bryan making those runs out of the back. They're so hard out of the midfield. Sorry, they're so hard to track. And then because of that three front, you got numbers already established in the box with press again. She's just not going to miss from that distance. But Bryan. Crystal Dunn blazing towards the end line. Gets a crossover. The header's in. It's Alex Morgan from Dunn. It's now 6-1 to one U.S. The work done by Dunn. The final touch applied by Morgan. Crystal Dunn, look at all the time and space. She's facing up. She's getting in line. And then the part that has been missing from the puzzle and was in the first half against that first game against Switzerland is finding that player in the box. And you're seeing so many options. And Alex Morgan wide open. Crystal done now. We'll get a good looking cross in. 
Oprah came off her line, empty net, and it's swiveled in by Alex Morgan, who picks up her second, and the United States, in the 75th minute, get another one here. Look at this nice little move out of the corner, hops it over her foot, and then looking for a seam, and if you're going to come up, come out that far as a goalkeeper, you have got to get it out of there, and Oprah just missing it, and the U.S. will punish you if you can't get it. She gets maybe a little bit of hand on it, but you got to box that bad boy out of there. Tobit Heath. Right for the shot from Heath, it's an own goal. Deflection off feet side. The despair on her face and the joy on Tobin Heath's face. The United States go up eight to one. Tobin Heath, little cuts, sees a little window, and thinks, why not? And feet side, she's put in a load tonight. You can see the frustration, just a little deflection. Impossible for Oprah to stop that one, but. Dunn will pick it up. Ohai makes a move. Dunn stays with it. Played it across off the chest, and that's an own goal. Unfortunate for Maluta. Dunn made it all happen. They'll take it. Well, look, sometimes own goals happen because you force errors, you create them. Pressing the ball. Hit 45 minutes. There's Dunn in the box. Dunn with a shot and a goal. Two nothing U.S. Crystal Dunn is on the board. She has been the bright spot for the U.S. in this first half. And look at this ball over all the way to press. She's all alone in that seam, and she doesn't even have to look that second time to play Dunn in. Dunn runs in behind her. That's a brilliant ball by press to split the defenders. He. Looking, played it across unselfishly, Press scores! That's goals in four straight games for Kristen Press. The player who hasn't missed in the last few matches when opportunities have bounced her way has been Kristen Press. And she didn't get many in the first half, but this one is rolled back perfectly. She sets it up, she continues her run to get in the box, and Tobin Heath, as you said, very unselfishly lays that back. And here's Press, she sees that it's going to be in, she's got to make that Delayed run towards that penalty spot and is in a right gap. Krieger stays on the deck. Press, freeing herself for the shot that's blocked. Appeals for a handball. Not hurt. Well, it is hurt now. That's a late one. And I'm guessing that that might have come from the assistant referee on the far side because Margaret Dunker did not call it initially. On the whistle, it's Morgan Bryan versus Oprah. And a score for Morgan Bryan. And just a cool, calm finish for Morgan Bryan. O'Hara setting it in. Not it down. There's another one. U.S. Five nothing. U.S. And this is a short corner. It ends up with a service. In the box, Sam Mewis just runs at that near post, redirects at back post. No one tight enough. Rather simple finish for her.